Now to a bizarre story out of Lehigh County. Police say they were forced to shoot a massive 15 foot snake as it was strangling its owner. It happened today in Fogelsville, Upper McCungie Township near Allentown. Our Jennifer Joyce reports. Police say when they arrived, the victim was in cardiac arrest. The midsection of the snake was wrapped around the victim's neck, and we were talking about a massive snake, more than 15 feet long, and police confirmed this snake was a pet at the home. I've been doing this job for 19 years. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. A life or death situation like they've never seen before. Members of the Upper McCungie Police Department say they responded to the 1400 block of Church Street in Fogelsville just after 2 p.m. That's where they found a 15 foot snake wrapped around a man's throat. Police say the 28 year old victim was lying unresponsive on the floor of the home. The officers had to make a quick decision. Um, the snake was very much alive and they were well aware that the snake could cause the officers damage. One neighbor says she saw emergency responders swarming this property on the block. Police officers on location say it was like a scene from a horror movie. Everyone was in danger. They acted quickly, firing a single shot at the snake in an attempt to save the man's life. The head of the snake was actually a far enough distance away from the victim that an officer was able to shoot the snake, um, at which point he did, and the snake kind of started to slither off, and the officers were able to pull the male away from the grasp of the snake. Had he not done that, I don't know how they would have released um, the, the, you know, the, the male from the grasp of the snake, honestly. The victim was transported to a local hospital. Police are describing it as a very serious situation. They also tell us that the snake died and investigators confirm that there were several snake enclosures found inside the home. Reporting from Fogelsville, I'm Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News.